Now, it's important to note that every single thing that's come out so far about this laptop has not been disproven. Even though media keeps saying, oh, this is all being disproven or it's a Russian hoax, it's not. There's not been one single email, one single shred of information that's come from that laptop that has been disproven so far. In fact, it hasn't even been denied so far by the Biden campaign, and that in and of itself is very telling. But now new information about what else is on that laptop, including multiple reports that indicate that there are sexually explicit images and provocative images of a minor girl who is also a Biden family member. And in some of those photos, she is seen in compromising positions with Hunter Biden. Um, Again, it's, it's a disturbing story. We're going to break down exactly what's being reported about this and also the fact that Rudy Giuliani, who himself is a questionable character in all this, apparently took that, that laptop with those images and was escorted by a former New York City police commissioner. He took it to local police in Delaware turned over that laptop, turned over the images and text messages that seem to indicate this, well, criminal behavior and asked what they would do about it. So now back to the story of what is on Hunter Biden's laptop. It is um, really a staggering story in terms of uh, this new information that is just coming out. It's being reported on multiple outlets, including John Solomon's Just the News. Evidence from alleged Hunter Biden computer was turned over to the Delaware Justice Department. Rudy Giuliani, one of President Trump's private attorneys, has reported to Delaware police concerns that materials on a laptop purportedly tied to Hunter Biden contained evidence of possible child endangerment. Giuliani, a former U.S. attorney and New York City mayor, confirmed Tuesday night he went Monday to a local police department in Wilmington to report his concerns of children endangerment and sexual exploitation. Giuliani told Just the News that former New York Police Department Commissioner Bernard Carrick joined him when he delivered photographs and text messages to the Newcastle County Police Department. Quote, I told them other details about what appears to be an inappropriate sexual relationship. He said in an interview, they told me it would be investigated. So then, of course, we have to ask, what was on that laptop? Now, Giuliani did an interview with Newsmax TV just the other night where he explained some of this. Here's a clip from that interview. And he says, uh, she, she told my therapist that I was sexually inappropriate. This would be with a unnamed 14-year-old girl. When she says that I FaceTime naked with the unnamed 14-year-old girl. And the reason I can't have her out to see me is because I walk around naked smoking crack talking Tom girls on FaceTime. When she was pressed, she said that the unnamed 14-year-old girl never said anything like that, but the bottom line is that I created and caused a very unsafe environment for the kids. Uh, this is supported by numerous pictures of underage uh, girls. So, in, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, I uh, that is, look, that's dynamite stuff. Uh, and I've seen I it. I turned it over to the... To, Let, to the you turned, turned it, you it turned over, it over to, the, to the Delaware State Police, correct? Yes, yesterday. Bernie Carrick and I turned it over to the Delaware State Police because we're right. very uncomfortable with this. So we're very uncomfortable with the fact that these underage girls were not protected. So, so again, Giuliani says he turned over this laptop because it contained photos and text messages that were inappropriate and appeared to involve an underage girl. This underage girl, who Giuliani, by the way, did not name or identify, um, is reportedly, according to some news outlets, a relative of Hunter Biden, a Biden family member herself. In one of the texts, Hunter Biden says to his sister-in-law, also his lover, that he FaceTimed a 14-year-old girl while naked and doing crack. Quote, she told my therapist that I was sexually inappropriate. Giuliani adds, quote, this would be with regard an unnamed 14-year-old girl, adding that this is supported by numerous pictures of underage girls. Now, what's even more surprising about this story is that the FBI had possession of this laptop since 2019 and yet so far seems to have done nothing with this information again look there's, there's a lot to this story and we don't want to just fall into the trap of reporting things that have been unsubstantiated however again there has been a release of these text messages as you can see here that were on the hard drive itself now i want to make a very important point here which is that there has been an incredible amount of collusion between the 
intelligence communities like the CIA and the FBI, collusion between the House Intelligence Committee and members of Congress, as well as the mainstream media and big tech companies surrounding specifically this story. We've known for some time that these different entities have worked together and colluded together in order to be able to control a narrative, but we have never seen it exposed the way it's being exposed right now. Right now, we have an incredible number of, of agencies in the federal government we have mainstream media and tech companies like Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and politicians all working together to control a story and to hide a story. Now, 